Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and well the theme for this video is in the title of the video to repaint or not to repaint that is the question what am I talking about now long-term viewers of the channel will be aware that I spent many years painting a <laughs> painting a bolt action army um, a German bolt action army quite a sizable one the last count around about 6,000 points worth of Germans uh, for bolt action. I've made a couple of videos um, about this. They'll be knocking around in the, in the bolt action playlist. Now most people would be, would be rather proud of a, a 6,000 point fully painted army. And I was. I really was. And then I looked at it again after... It's been locked away for, well, since I made that last video last year. And I've not looked at it since. And I made the very serious error of looking at them again compared to how I currently paint. And without beating around the bush, I thought they were pretty crappy. <laughs> so I had, I, had a, I had a quandary. Do I leave them, um, game with them the way they were and just say, yes, Steve, that's a relic of how you used to paint. You've moved on. You're a bit better these days. Or... Do I make myself a load of coffee, put the, the entire Slayer back catalog on and crack on with repainting them? And from the title of the video, I guess it's clear which option I went for. I went for option two. So what I'm going to do is show you what I've done so far. There's a few caveats to what I wanted to do. What I didn't want to do was, was completely paint the army from the ground up. That would achieve nothing. It would be a complete waste of, of my time and I think I'd get bored after about 10 minutes no 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 what I decided to do was focus on three separate areas of the figures that I'd painted and these were faces bases and highlighting having looked at the, what I'd, I'd done so far I think these were the three main areas that would make the army pop it was just very dull the, the bases weren't they weren't very inspiring the flesh wasn't the best. I mean, I'm not the best at painting flesh at the best of times, but these were these were pretty shocking. And the highlights were really dull. And overall, I just thought it looked really horrible. So as an example, I'm going to show you what some of the figures look like. Now, not the completed ones. I'll get to that in a second. But just to show you what I'm talking about. These. So, just get that to focus in. I shall see. I mean, it's not. It's 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 tabletop quality, but it's the the base is dull. The flesh isn't the best. The equipment's not painted properly. I think he was one of my Brandenburgers, actually. Uh, same with this guy with the fez. It's just it's just dull and uninspiring. I just didn't. And the bases are just. Ugh, God, to look at these. Even with my Falschimega, which was the starting point of the entire project, it's just. There's no camouflage, the, the bases are dull, the equipment's dull, everything's dull. This army screamed, dull. I didn't like it. Again, here's another example. Just, just, just uninspiring. Just, I know, I know that, that you can get away with this on the tabletop, but I, I wasn't happy. So, let's get those out of the way before I have to look at them anymore. <laughs> so what I did um, in, a, in, in the coming weeks I've got a, a return to bolt action with my regular gaming buddy Ian and we're planning to film the battle report so what we're going to be doing is um, Germans against US infantry late war so I thought well let's, let, let's choose a, an, a, a theatre selector and just, just paint or re overhaul um, from that, that, uh, that theatre selector and that's what I've done so uh, the theatre selector I chose was holding the west wall. These are all inexperienced troops. And the best thing about these is that pretty much 90% of this army is kit bashed. So let's get on to what I've been up to. So here we go. As you can see, straight away, they pop more than, than the previous specimens. <laughs> you can call them that. So I'm going to run through the army. It's 994 points, I believe. And I guess in the very near future, it will be appearing in a battle on the channel so here we are so from left to right this guy here he was initially going to be an assistant for 
a, a HQ, but he's been promoted to, uh, he's going to be a second second lieutenant. As you can see, kit bashed from Grenadier bits, Winter German bits, all kinds of bits. And he's going to be my, my lone second lieutenant. As you can see, better camouflage, his equipment's painted correctly, the base is just brighter, and just the flesh looks a bit better. So here's the, here's the HQ option for this list. Up next we have something that, these are, most of these are largely appeared in other videos, but like I said, they've had a bit of a, a bit of a sprucing up, a bit of an overhaul. And they just, in my opinion, they just look a, little, look a lot better. So this, these, this here is my kit-bashed Panzer Shrek team. So again, that's kit-bashed from a, a US Bazooka and a bit from an old Imper Games Workshop Imperial Guard heavy weapons team. All of this is, apart from one gun, everything in this army is plastic, and this is what I aim for. So that is a plastic kit-bashed Panzer Shrek team. Again, improved bases, improved highlights, the, the equipment's painted properly. I'm just thoroughly a lot more happier with this army the way it is now. So let's move on to the troop selections. Let's start off first with the first kit-bashed one. Ah, here we go. Now these... Oh my, let's get that in focus. Kit bashed Luftwaffe Field Division. Again, if you look, look back through the, the, the bolt action playlist on the channel, there's, there's, there's several videos containing these chaps uh, in their former <laughs> in their former glory. They're looking a bit better. So let's have a look at these. Again, these are all kit bashed from Plastic Warlord Grenadiers and the Blitzkrieg Germans. There we go. And again, they've just been given a nicer, brighter blue. I'm aware that they, by this time period in the war, the Luftwaffe Field Division, they weren't really wearing the the blue. They were they were pretty much in the same uniform as, as standard Grenadiers. Um, but I wanted these to stand out on the tabletop, hence why I've gone for blue. And I've used some of the Grenadiers there with Zeltbahn. Brighter camouflage, equipment painted properly, better bases. I think that looks like a really, really nifty unit. So that's the first one, that's my Luftwaffe Field Division section. Inexperienced, as all of these troops will be. Up next is another kit bash section. These are my Volks Grenadier. So these are sort of wounded um, troops or people called out of retirement um, to form the, the Volks Grenadier sections late, late on in the war. As you can see, these are built from a, a variety of different plastics. We've got the Grenadier box, we've got Winter Germans, we've got some um, some Falschmieger arms in there, I believe. Uh, oh no, they, these are all armed with uh, uh, assault rifles. Let's get closer there. So they are the Volks Grenadier. And you go, all I did was that with these. Which is paint the equipment in a more realistic fashion. The camouflage has been more accentuated on the Zelt Barn. The bases are just a whole lot better. And the flesh as well. Been given some, some new highlights. I think they really stand out as a rather gnarly looking unit. I can't wait to get these on the tabletop. Again, that the, the guy with the with the wounded head there, he's from the, the plastic US Marine box. So again. Just goes to show what you can do when you combine Warlord Plastics. So they are my section of Volks Grenadier. Okay, so what is next? Up next we have oh, more kit bashing, sort of. So these are from the old uh, German Warlord Blitzkrieg set. These are representing Ostruppen. So these are troops from the Eastern Front, so uh, Soviets, prisoners, people who defected and from the occupied nations. Um, they, were, they were in German service and defended on the Atlantic Wall and, and fought in the um, post-D-Day uh, battles in, around Normandy and into, into, into Germany itself. So I had a couple of spru uh, sprues of these lying around from the sprue sale and I thought, ah, let's, let's, let's use them. So I decided to use these as, as off troop. As you can see, the older Blitzkrieg uniforms to make them stand out. Equipment is painted correctly. 
highlights, basing, all the good stuff, making them stand out, making them pop a bit more on the tabletop, I think is the, is the main thing here. There we go. So they're going to be my, again, inexperienced Ostrup. Very cheap as well. I think we're about 90 points for this section. And it's got a, an LMG in it, which I shall get to now. It's a separate... I've put on a bigger base. So here is the LMG team for the Ostrupen. So I've decided to put this on a larger base, make it a bit more of a, of a diorama. Again, painted up a lot brighter. Some better basing with tufts and clump foliage. Just, I just feel happier with the army the way it is now. You can see, I, re I really thought the the field grade popped on these guys. So that is the LMG team for the Ostrupen section there. Again, I think it all comes in at 90 points, which isn't bad. Now the last infantry section is one of my favourites. This is this is just kit bash in heaven. This, <laughs> and these are my these are my Volksturm. These are the citizens, the the old men, the wounded, the took up arms in the in the defence of, of Germany in you know 44 onwards. Now these are mo mostly built using the wind plastic winter German bodies, and I've added a selection of different weapons and heads and arms and equipment to these guys. just to make them look like they're, they're the civilian soldiers essentially I thought the great coach they, they they have that civilian sort of vibe or look to them so again these got the same treatment as there's the same head as the uh, <laughs> the guy from the Vox Grenadiers it's a very popular looking head as you can see better highlights uh, they just they just look better they stand out a whole lot better than they did not as much equipment on these guys uh, as befitting their their Volkstem status, but they're festooned with um, uh, Panzerfausts, which should be good in game if my well not if my dice rolling is its usual awful self. So with that, they're the, the last of the the infantry sections with four of those. So let's move on to support. So I've gone for this, which is a light mortar, and it's a it's a kit bash light mortar. And I kit bash this using, and uh, well, <laughs> the guy on the left is, I think he's just mostly, mostly German parts. The right arm holding the, the ammunition is from the, the British Commonwealth box. But the guy on the floor, he's made from what, the only, I think the only German parts on him are his head and his equipment. The, the body, the line, the prone body is, I believe it's a, a plastic US Marine, which I changed his gaiters slightly. It's a lot more German. And the light mortar is actually from the, the British Commonwealth um, box. Give him short sleeves. And it just works together really well. Again, another good example of, of Warlord's plastics really going together well. Can't wait to use this. Again, these were just painted the same way. Better highlights, better faces, better bases. And I've gone for the bigger base for these guys. Um, now the next support option is one, again it's had its own video this one, but I've really gone to town on this. And here we have the monstrous Pack 40. One of my favourite models. Um, let's get that into, into focus. As you can see I've really gone to town with this. So a 10 by 10 base. Everything got a, a new lick of paint, so highlights. The equipment was painted correctly. The, the flesh was sort of a lot brighter than it was. And the basing. I added a lot more tufts, a lot more clump foliage around it, just to, just to give it that, that that kind of look that, was, that will, will fit in with the rest of the the the, uh, the theatre selector. And you can see that's the pack forty. Um, what you'll see from this as well is the crew are all plastic. I kit bash the crew from a mix of wall or plastic German kits, and then there's all kinds of bits and pieces. So I've got shell casings, I've got guns, maps, grenades. There's some there's some weapons against the wall there. Um, so this is, it's probably not a practical base in game term, but I i really enjoyed working this. And actually overhauling it, I just breathed new life into it. There we go, and that's the Pack 40. So with the Pack 40, you need a tow. So here's the tow, which is a multi-half track. 
really nice kit this uh, from Warlord Games. One of their one of their best plastic kits, I think. Even though it's a vehicle, it's a it's a, 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 a cracking kit. I thoroughly enjoy. I've got two of these. I made the other one Opal Blitz truck. I thoroughly enjoyed enjoyed working on both of them. So I've gone for the the multi option as the tow for the Pack Forty. Again, didn't have to do much to this. It was just just basic. Add a bit more weathering with weathering pigments and make the base, you know, a few more tufts and bits and pieces on there to make it fit in with the rest of the army. But that is going to be the toe for the pack 40. Two things left. Up next is oh, this late war. I couldn't resist yet <laughs> using this because it's it's a Hetzer. Um and I I like the Hetzer. This kit was a a bit of a bind to put together but I, uh, I painted it up in a, a sort of camouflage scheme of weathered it and I just went back and the camouflage was quite quite dull so I've, I've gone back in and just dry brushed over it and just just bring it out a little bit more but there we go that's the that's the head again never used this in game and I'm really looking forward to using it it's a really iconic late war German vehicle and last but not least is this, which is a, a Puma um, heavy armoured car. So this had, the camouflage was just improved on this. Bit of weathering, didn't have to do an awful lot to it. Again, just bits and pieces to on the base there, just to make it stand out a bit more and tie it in with the rest of the army. But these, these two, yeah. Looking forward to it. I've only ever used the Puma once um, since I've had it, and it got taken out in one shot by a, a Japanese tank, which was not a not a, a great glorious way to end your very first first game. Didn't even fire a shot. So hopefully in the game in the upcoming game it will perform a bit better. And there we have it. That is 994 points of late war Germans from the holding the the West Wall theater selector. But what for me I'm happy with it. It looks better. It, it just, I'm a lot happier with the with the painting style, with the basing. It's just gonna it's just gonna pop more on the tabletop, and I'm really really happy with it. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna be doing is probably another video once I've completed it, completed everything. The plan is, the Falsimega will be removed completely from the the army project. I want to do different things with them based on um the USD Day book. There's an Alliance of Carantan Theatre Selector that I really want to concentrate on for my Falsamiga. So I'm going to be putting camouflage in them, which I haven't done before. And yeah, there's a couple of theatre selectors there. I really want to be just pure Falsamiga. But there we have it. One 994 point army list. And, and this will be coming soon to a battle report on the channel. Hope you found that interesting. And it just goes to show that repainting an army doesn't have to be daunting. It doesn't have to be painted from you know completely resprayed or, or painted from the ground up just a few like I said, I've concentrated on bases faces and highlights and I'm tremendously happy with the results now if you've got any comments or questions about this or bolt action or gaming in general just pop them down below and I'll certainly respond to all comments and questions but as always thanks for watching do take care me dash roll well and I'll catch you all in the next video so bye bye for now